wasn't even 20 years old yet. Tiffany Mason of OKC says her life, her future, forever changed decades ago with one bad choice. Back in 1994, um, I obtained money under a false pretense and false impersonation. She served her time and paid her debt, but for years, that felony affected everything. Kept me from doing things that I wanted to do, like working at different jobs. It was always, oh, she got this felony. They didn't care what it was for. It's just the fact that you had a felony. All they know is felony, you are a horrible person. I couldn't even get housing because of this felony. And then when I did get Section 8, nobody would take me because once you fill out the application, and it says, do you have a felony? And you have to say yes, then it's, oh, yeah, we don't want you on our premises. So it became hard to house my kids. And Tiffany says if she even was able to find work. Wasn't enough to keep the lights on. You know, it was never the stuff that I knew that I could do. That's how it was for Tiffany and her family for years. That one felony dictating their lives. You went to jail. This is who you are. And it's not. Tiffany decided to start trying to clear her record herself 10 years ago. I tried to do it myself. I didn't have five grand. State Rep Nicole Miller says this is a common problem across Oklahoma. Right now we have currently have what we call the petition based process, which is paper based and it's long, it's laborious, it's um, you know very difficult to navigate and it is, it, it is very expensive. Rep Miller says 93% of Oklahomans who are eligible to have their records expunged don't, whether it's too overwhelming, confusing, expensive, or they simply don't know that they're eligible for a clean slate. People who have already paid their debt to society, but they are still having a stumbling block with employment, with housing, with education. Rep Miller decided our state needed to go in a different direction. Last legislative session, working to push through House Bill 3316. The automated system or the Clean Slate Initiative, what it will do is essentially um, anyone who is is within some of the parameters of like lower level misdemeanor charges. Um, many of those have been reclassified. Right now we have in that category, we have about 100,000 Oklahomans who would be eligible for an expungement under the automated system. The Clean Slate Initiative saw overwhelming support on both sides of the aisle and was signed into law. Officials are now working on the rollout of the automated new system. It's something that everyone could see the value in and the need and um, it makes sense certainly in this environment when we are have a labor shortage, we're you know struggling with workforce, and it makes sense to get Oklahomans back to work. And now that her record is expunged, Tiffany is the perfect example of what a clean slate really means. I can breathe for the first time. I don't have nothing hanging over my head. I am good. You know, I am good. It's just been a relief. Living life no longer defined by a decades old felony. I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, I'm a sister, I'm an aunt. I'm a pharmacy technician. I'm everybody that they think I'm not. And just because of their past, it's not who they are today. And we asked Rep Miller how people will know if they're eligible for this new automated expungement process once it is implemented. They're still in the early phases right now. She says once it's up and running, they will have marketing campaigns and outreach events to help spread the word. Also posting about it at county courthouses. <laughs>